I'm going to call this low band receiving antennas 101. Uh, try to very quickly just review the basics of receive antennas, especially for the low bands. Why do we even need receive antennas? Well, if you want to work DX on the low bands, you need to hear the weak signals. And how do we hear the weak signals? Well, we need more signal and less noise. This is called the signal to noise ratio. And how do we do this? Well, we use directive antennas to listen in the desired direction only. It's just like cupping your hands to your ears to listen for a faint distant sound. You want to hear the faint sound, but not all the other noise behind you. This is a photo I uh, took, or my wife took only just last week. We were in uh, Budapest, actually. This was out in front of a museum. This is an actual circa 1917 World War I acoustic aircraft early warning device. Literally four horns piped together uh, with two rubber hoses to uh, uh, listen for enemy aircraft and basically what we're doing is listening in one direction instead of uh, you know and eliminating all the noise that might be coming from uh, behind. In this case we've got an image of a, what might be considered an omni antenna with noise arriving from all directions uh, and I show a signal arriving from the right hand side. And so basically what we want to do is hear the signal, but we're also hearing noise, noise from all directions. Well, if we have a directive antenna with the pattern shown here, uh, for example, you'll see that we're receiving signal to, from the right. We have enhanced signal from the right, and all of the noise coming from all other directions is being diminished. So we've essentially increased the signal compared to the noise. On the, on the uh, zenith view, the same thing is true with no directivity. In fact, this isn't even an omni antenna because even a true omni uh, with uh, ground gain will actually have a null at the, above the antenna. But in this case, let's assume a free space type vertical. We've got noise coming from everywhere and the signal. There's no improvement in the signal to noise. With the directive antenna, we now have improvement. We've got more signal and less noise coming from all of these other directions. Pretty simple. This ratio of signal to noise noise improvement can be quantified and it's quantified in a program called ESNEC. You can also do it with a freeware program for NEC2. It also provides an output for the metric which is called RDF which is Receive Directivity Factor. And what the RDF is, it's the maximum forward gain, okay, the peak gain at the direction of the uh, directional antenna versus divided by the average gain of uh, the pattern in all directions. In other words, the total average gain in the entire 3D hemisphere, and it's expressed in dBs. So in other words, RDF is not just a simple front-to-back calculation. It considers the pattern signal rejection from all directions in the 3D space. So here's a diagram, a 3D plot of that same antenna coming out of 4 neck 2 And so, so what, what RDF calculates is it compares this forward lobe gain, okay, that maximum gain, compared to the average gain of the entire uh, antenna in the 3D space. And so that's basically providing a, a metric of how, in, how much rejection, really, uh, where we get of noise from uh, everywhere other than the forward lobe. Uh, this is an example from Fornec2, and, and there's the output. It's, it's, it's literally just quoted there for any antenna it'll show. In fact, this is a broadside two element, uh, two, two, two broadside beverage uh, antennas. Uh, this is a plot from uh, a page from WHJI's uh, webpage, and he's uh, derived the RDF and actually done these calculations. I encourage you to go look at his page. It's great. But, you know, it compares all the different types of receive antennas, uh, many of them that you could imagine uh, building, and uh, shows the, the, the difference in RDF. And in this case, it's increasing RDF as we go down with the sort of the, the, the peak RDF antenna being described as two broadside uh, beverages with uh, three-quarter wavelength uh, spacing. Uh, you know, something I've heard quite a bit or heard occasionally is, well, I have almost no local noise. It's so quiet, I don't need RX antennas. This is 100% not true. Uh, there's always propagated noise and distant band noise. Uh, enhanced directivity, RDF, RX antennas, will always improve weak signal copy. Uh, for this to be any other way would imply that there's zero noise coming from anywhere except uh, the receive signal, and that just doesn't happen. Uh, enhanced receive from these improved RDF antennas has nothing to do with gain. That's another thing people think it's got something to do with gain, but it doesn't. It's only the improvement in directivity. 
that rejects noise in favor of the signal. Uh, you know, long-haul long DX signals on 160 meters are usually very weak. Uh, you know, I mean, they're right at the noise often, unless the band is honking open. Uh, and often, um, it, you know, they're, they're just bubbling at the noise. So even 2 dB can make or break a QSO. Uh, and, and for example, the, the difference of 8.5 dB of RDF uh, between a transmit antenna, which has an RDF of 5 dB, and a, say, for example, you know, one of the better receive antennas, a two-element broadside beverage uh, phased array of 3.5 dB, it's, that's huge. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, these receive antennas can open up an entire new layer of, uh, of DX on, on the low bands. Um, they really do work. Uh, much of the DX that uh, I've worked here in V6WZ uh, would not be possible without directive receive antennas. Uh, I use both uh, beverages. I have eight of them, uh, as well as some broadside phased uh, beverages as well, and um, a nine circle receive array, which I use in diversity, uh, one in each year. Uh, on 80 meters, I'll also use my RX antennas, but the two element Yagi tends to be comparable. And also on 40 meters, I'll mostly use the Yagi. But for those that use, uh, don't have directive antennas on those bands, the receive antennas will be very, very helpful as well. Uh, I encourage you to go check out some references. That's just a quick and dirty one. Uh, you know, ON4UN's low band DXing book is a great reference. W8JI's page has good stuff. Uh, a great resource, W8WWV. Google him. He's got some uh, good background information of RDF and others. And K7TGR has also some good reference. Quick and dirty, receive antennas 101.